Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book Optimising Car Performance Modifications. How to test your car modifications on the road to make sure you're going in the right direction with the changes you're making. What I want to do today is talk about making an instrument a tool that you can use, especially when you are tuning. The tool allows you to listen to the sounds that the engine is making. It uses a microphone that's clipped to the block, it uses a small amplifier, and it uses a set of headphones. The headphones allowing you to exclude other sounds and hear only the sounds the engine is making. And as you'd expect, it's best if you do it from the passenger seat while someone else is driving. If you had to make everything from scratch, it'd be a fair bit of work, but you don't. On eBay, you can buy a little amplifier which is called the Listen Up Portable Personal Sound Amplifier. Wow, it's a real mouthful, but it's just a small product and it's designed, I think, primarily for elderly people so they can better hear conversations that are going on around them. It's very, very cheap, very cheap, but actually the amplifier and the microphone are both quite high quality. And talking about the microphone, if you open up the device, you'll see the microphone is connected to the printed circuit board with some flying leads, with some separate leads. Now you can unsolder those leads, attach a new cable to the microphone, and then you can remote mount the microphone. So yes, you do need to solder, and you do need to be able to recognise the components that I'm talking about. So what do you do with that microphone? Well, you mount it in a battery clip. You just glue it inside the battery clip, and then the battery clip can be clipped to whatever it is that you're interested in listening to. Typically, you clip it to the engine block. At the other end, I suggest you fit some very good headphones. Use good headphones with nice big cushions and then plug that into the original uh, personal sound amplifier. It comes with earphones, but they're really quite poor quality. And you want to exclude those other sounds and have, have really good uh, quality sound reproduction. The amplifier is fine, the microphone is fine, so make sure you use good headphones. Now, how do you use it? Well, let's say you're tuning programmable engine management and you're tuning the timing. The more advanced the timing, the more likely the engine will detonate. Detonation destroys engines. It's the sound of inappropriate combustion occurring. Rather than a progressively expanding wave front, you have pockets of fuel and air explode and they create massive pressure waves. Those pressure wa waves run around inside the cylinder, they hammer on top of the piston, and that's the sound that you can hear when detonation occurs. If you were to hit the top of the piston with a hammer, it would make a similar sound. Sustained, high load detonation, engine gone. Broken pistons, broken valves, and so on. So when you're tuning ignition timing, you never ever want to hear high load sustained detonation. How do you use the headphones to avoid that? Well, the interesting thing is, you can actually hear the engine sound change prior to detonation. The combustion noise gets a harsher note. Now you're thinking, well, how am I going to know what that harsher note is? Take a step back. If you're tuning the car with programmable engine management, you certainly want to know what detonation sounds like, but you don't want your engine destroyed at the same time. So advance the ignition timing at a light load and low RPM until you can hear that characteristic tink, tink, tink sound. Sometimes sounds a bit like coins rattling in a coin jar. Now you know what it sounds like, and now you know what it sounds like through your headphones. And if it is only at low load and for a short period, you're very unlikely to do any engine damage. Now, when you get to tune at higher loads, uh, you don't want to hear that sound. You, you don't even want to hear the sound of the combustion note starting to change as it heads towards that sound. And of course, if you're tuning with the, with the laptop, you can actually pull back the timing, so not get to that degree of advance. The listening system works quite superbly. Um, it, it does need you to concentrate, which is why another reason you should be in the passenger seat and not driving when you're doing this, have someone else driving the car, but you can hear so much. You can hear uh, even, I, it's hard to describe. I, I describe it as the engine starting to sound unhappy. In my car, where I'm tuning the programmable management, I've fitted a turbo to it, I was winding up the boost. And I was running 15 PSI boost, sounded pretty good, I was pretty happy with how it was going. I increased that to 16 and 17, and the engine note just started to change. And I thought, oh, I don't like this. I, I lifted the red line. It's got a relatively low red line, 6,500 RPM in standard form. I lifted that to 7, and I was going to go to 7.5. And, 
but gee, the valve train sounded very strained as you went higher and higher in revs, and, and, and maybe uh, my courage failed me because I said, no, I'll go back to a 6,500 RPM red line. You can hear so much that you can't hear when you're sitting in the cabin. Here's another example. You can connect the clip to the uh, blow-off valve if you're running a turbo car. You can hear if that blow-off valve is operating. You can hear at what point it operates. If you're running a water-air intercooler system, again on a turbo car, you can clip the clip to the pump. And if you're running that at different speeds, you'll be able to hear the pump change in its note as it runs at those different speeds. I, I took the system out of the car to bring in into this room to, to show you in the video. And when I was tuning a few days ago, when I came to a halt and turned the engine off, I still had the headphones on, I could hear the oil draining back to the sum. Now, I'm not sure how beneficial that is to your modification, but it shows the sensitivity of the system and how you can hear so much. So, it's called the Listen Up Portable Personal Sound Amplifier. It's available on eBay for, for basically no cost. It requires a few modifications, but it gives a surprisingly effective listening system that you can use in your tuning. In the book, I show step by step of making those changes to the, to the system so that you end up with that quality listening system for very, very little money. Thank you.